I come from the Academy of Fine Arts in Vienna and there I have a science project, it's called uh, Structure Makes Colors and for me uh, it should be the first of a lot of following projects in the bionic art. But you got a clue what I'm talking about, these are structural colors. So these are colors not origin through pigmentation, they are origin through light, through a nanostructure and light. Look at structural colors, we have to look at the bionic thing. So that means, yeah, that you got a clue, the thickness of your hair has about 100,000 nanometers. And if you're doing bionic stuff, uh, we always look to nature, how nature solves problems, yes? So we have to figure out the scientific theories standing behind that we can make replication of structural colors. Uh, and on the other hand, there are also the technical possibilities important for scientists. So what can we do? In which direction can we go? And for me, as an artist and a scientist, it's always uh, important that we choose a sustainable ecological way. So we use materials that are good for our own and good for our environment. Bionic art is not a term is common. So I want to establish this science direction because I think that a lot of scientists have good ideas and they don't have a science home. We were thinking at the Academy of Fine Arts that we want to establish bionic art to supply art with more expression techniques. Expression techniques can face competition with our situation nowadays because all the people there in their everyday illusion and how can we awake them? I mean, how can we artists, do we have possibilities that we can keep attention from the public? So we need some new expression. Art means it comes from biology, it needs technique and it serves art. Uh, and it's also scientists need to be creative. So it's profitable for both sides, not only for us. So when we look at structural colors and we know it's not pigmentation, we have to know something about light. If the visible light is in a real small section of the whole radiation, it goes from 390 nanometers to 790 nanometers. And if you have the white light, yeah, we, out there is white light. It's a compilation of all colors of light. If you have the red or the blue one, yeah, they have a difference in the wavelength. Yeah, the longest one are the red ones with seven, about 700 nanometers and the shortest one is the blue one with 450 nanometers. And there are some basics to that with structural coloration. You need a nanostructure and you need light. Yeah? And also very important is the refraction index. Yeah? Only you obtain colors yeah? if you, the light goes from a lower to a higher refraction index. And also very important is that when the light goes through, it must be in the range of the visible light. of light but not all of them but if you see this one this marvelous book butterfly and if you will they have a really flat angle but it changed their colors and some of the structural colorated uh, butterflies disappear the colors disappear yeah the metallic uh, beetles they have 
the same color in all angles of view. So go to nature. There are a lot of structural colors. It's a bird, yeah? And the baboos, the feather, the feather of the bird has a spongy structure inside, making this wonderful, marvelous colors. It has shiny colors and change with the angle of views. You know, you have to know, yeah, that butterflies have scales. Yeah? There is a membrane with scales in it, have ridges here. And in between the ridges are the structure of one single scale. Yeah? Uh, scientists call them shelf structures or Christmas trees. Yeah? They look like Christmas trees. And the name of this butterfly yeah, is due to a photonic crystal. Yeah? A butterfly with photonic crystals inside. Uh, wow! This white is so white. So how, how the beetle does this whiteness? He has a structure inside. Marvelous, yeah, gold. And if you stress this beetle, it gets red. Yeah, unbelievable, it gets red. Uh, and this is the only beetle can do this act. He can change his color if he likes to. So. Artworks with additional properties, and I think artists need to get more expression techniques nowadays to keep the attention, to keep the attraction to the public. I mean, what can we do that you awake from your everyday illusion? I mean, what can we, we make when there is so many other influences from advertisements, from the internet, yeah? Uh, it's really difficult to transfer our content, the artist content, to the public if we don't have suitable materials to do so. So I think that's really important that uh, there are some people like me that think about something like that. some material studies, I have to say. And uh, now, we are at the moment, we can synthesize diffraction ratings with multicolored effects, you can see here and here, and we also prove them in different uh, art materials with diffraction ratings on it. And we got also a replication of a scale. And this was really a success, so we want to make monochromatic colors, yes? That's what we are planning for future and the outlook will be that we want to establish a permanent brain brain in between science and art. It can be that the nanoprint tool will be the next generation tool we want to implement directly on the surface the nanoprint and then we obtain colors shiny or marvelous like butterflies. So, now I want to change the scene. Thank you for your attention to the scientific stuff. Now I want to make a five minute art performance. Look at the picture show meanwhile. And then uh, art performance will start. Thank you. 
wild into a light, the low into a show. Beauty covers birth and death. Dramatical, exotical, unreachable. Life turns into a perfect view, creating desire unsufficiently, public wire, unliable, unreal, unsafe, tensions of artificial beings, close to grab, never to have, the ceiling is in the bed, rearing souls, Tilting and strengthening, walking on a silvery line, all ends up poor, never feeds the hungry tears. Feeling steep inside, lost and found, but the bottom never hits the ground. The colors of life does not paint in black or white. Glance and shine need a diction. Hang on to assisting prediction. Turn out lights. Turn out lights. Theater starts. Tranquilize, tranquilize, tranquilize. All goes on and on like a never ending TV dog. Watching. The air bubbles covered with soap, dreaming of a new glow, trusting in humans' endless hope of a better world where it all comes into being and nothing seems to be.